A new review published in October 2020, which re-examined the concern of anti-nutrients in plant foods, including lectins, goitrogens, phytates, etc., revealed some interesting results. Quote, in their whole and cooked form, there is currently no strong evidence from human trials to support the claim that lectin-rich foods consistently cause inflammation, intestinal permeability, or nutrient absorption issues in the general population. However, the review did analyse this study that tested 500 individuals for anti-lectin antibodies and found a range of immunoreactivity between 7.8% and 18% against different lectins, which does suggest that there may be a small handful of the population who do respond to undigested lectins. However, the researcher went on to conclude, quote, Legumes and other lectin-rich plant foods are excellent sources of essential amino acids, prebiotic fibres, vitamins, minerals, as well as powerful antioxidant and anti-inflammatory compounds. Diets rich in legumes and whole grains are associated with reduced inflammatory biomarkers in both animal and human trials. Until further human clinical trials demonstrate otherwise, the health-promoting effects of lectin-containing foods would seem to far outweigh any possible negative effects of lectins. So now let's hear from the esteemed cardiologist, Dr. Joel Kahn, on whether we should be avoiding lectins. So lectins are a family of proteins combined with carbohydrates found in animals and plants throughout nature. It's a very, very complex group of chemicals. There are lectins that we use in medicine to heal patients. Actually, the plant mistletoe, famous for Christmas, also has some role in oncology practices. That's a powerful lectin. So lectins should never be labeled uniformly as something bad. But you would have thought by now, that was back in 2017 when Dr. Gundry broke out with that book and that concept, that we would all perish by now by eating beans and seeds and other legumes. And it simply hasn't happened. And the science was never there. And frankly, without being rude to a colleague. He never published any science on the topic. He published a successful book. And yet, on the other hand, we've got the blue zones, and we've got Loma Linda, and we've got actual studies that say if you want to mature and end up a healthy older person, emphasizing legumes is the single food group found in all of the five blue zones. It's found in populations that enjoy great health in their 80s and 90s. So is there a rare person that seems not to react well to a very bean, pea, lentil rich diet? Yes, and they should watch it. I would estimate it from my experience, maybe 1% of people need to modify the amount of those foods they eat. But for 99% of us, they are the joy. And cook your beans and cook your lentils or buy high quality canned sources, soak them, wash them, but eat them regularly. I actually think beans, peas, and lentils are the number one foods that I eat day in and day out, week in and week out when I bring my lunch to my clinic. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.